What's up guys, Dean the Collector back with another review. Today we're going to be reviewing the Very Cool Toys 112th Scale Catch Me figure. Super excited, I finally have this. Um, I was eyeing this for quite some time. Had my eye on this for a while. And uh, I've always passed on it, but um, I came across it again when I had ordered my 112th Scale PC Toys Neo. Uh, if you guys haven't checked out that review, Feel free to check that out, leave some comments, feedback, whatever, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, I came across her again when I ordered my Neo. And I was like, you know what, let me just pick her up. I do need another female character, a uh, female figure, because uh, I don't have too many female figures. But uh, yeah, I was like, you know what, I need, a, I need some more female figures. She looked badass, all right, like some stealth ops, kind of like, you know, and... Uh, I was just like, what the hell, I need her. But uh, yeah, ordered her. Uh, for those who are wondering where I ordered her from, uh, it is giantoys.com, awesome site. Uh, they have tons of stuff on there, one ninth scales, one six scales, one twelve scales. They have accessories for SH figure arts, for hot toys, uh, SH figure arts. Not sure why I mentioned that already. But yeah, SH figure arts, Mesco, hot toys. Head scopes, accessories, they have everything. Uh, I'll leave that in the link. Well, I'll leave the link in the description. But uh, yeah, ordered her and she's here. Very excited. But um, yeah, guys, we're going to talk about the packaging, its contents, and then we'll get into the actual review. So here on the front, we have the Catch Me. Uh, I guess that's the logo. All right. We have the 112 scale here on the top right. We have a really cool photo of her. We have the very cool at the bottom left with the logo. I guess the number of the figure. You get the cool view of her. All right, I'll show you guys can see it. She looks really cool with the little cat ears. Dope, dope. That's a uh, very cool. <laughs> see what I did there? <laughs> uh, on the right side of the box, we have Catch Me. All right, we have Palm Treasure. Don't know what that is. May have to look that up. On the left side of the packaging, we have another photo of her. Looks very cool. <laughs> we have the very cool on the bottom. Once again, the logo, the number of the figure, I guess. Top of the packaging, we have Catch Me. The bottom, again, the line's name, very cool with the logo. And on the back, we have the contents top left we have palm treasure the catch me logo once again 112 scale we have a really cool photo of her again um but i guess this time she's kneeling down in that you know position to kill all right we got these really cool photos at the bottom kind of similar to like uh, how mesco presents their figures on the back of the box all right she's there in different poses now i believe this was originally a one sixth scale all right, and that's it right there behind her, and they kind of like you know made it a smaller scale into the one twelve, which I think it's cool. And here it says we get a HK four sixteen AR as well as a HK four sixteen red dot sight, so I guess it's uh, removable or you can add it. Still, uh, either way, it's dope. But uh, yeah. Um, let's get into this actual review now, guys. Alright, guys, so here is your look at Catch Me. And uh, I must say, she looks badass, man. Really, really, really love how this figure looks. Alright. I'm just in love with 112 scale figures. I, I don't know why, I just love them. Really badass. Bring the camera up. Get a better view. All right. Not sure if you guys can see the gloss on her eyes, but nicely done. Nice soft face right there. Very soft. The hair is cool. Not sure what. Oh, it's got like hard plastic for all the ears. 
Looks really dope though. I think this is removable. It's kind of like a turtleneck, but like that covers her face. All right. You got all the pouches and places to put the weapons. So dope. Not bad at all, man. Not bad at all. I'm more than sure this, all of this stuff is like removable. You could probably take it off with like um, tweezers or something, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, guys, let's talk about the accessories. And uh, then we'll get into the actual uh, posing and articulation as usual. Let's bring this back down. All right, so for hands, you are looking at six interchangeable hands. Uh, the two hands we get on the stock, on the figure, on, uh, sorry. The two hands we get on the figure itself, stock, are not closed fist, but they are trigger finger hands, I believe, All right, left and right. Or the right one could be possibly a uh, could possibly be, oh my god, sorry guys, I'm like, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the right one could possibly be the trigger finger, and the left is kind of like a relaxed hand, I guess, like to hold the weapon, all right, we get those, we get these two, like, holding hands, all right, so I guess you could just have her hold the weapon, or uh, the handguns, whatever you want to do, or if you have any other accessories, like I could probably put like a, a grenade from a Mesco in her hand, possibly. So we got those. We get two relaxed hands, which are nicely done. Put this here. And uh, for the weapons, we get one handgun here. Right, the detail is very nice. Oops. Sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry. Detail is very nice. Magazines are not removable, and there is no cockback action. All right. There is no cock back. All right, I have to correct myself. They don't want nobody saying, "Did you just say go?" You know what I mean. All right. <laughs> so you get that. Uh, I believe this is a Glock Mini. Can't be too sure. All right. Ooh, but there is a small little hole there. Which that which means I may be able to use the Mesco flash effects. Possibly. Let me not get too excited yet. Alright, but I'm more than sure it'll fit there. So we get that handgun. We get the HK416 AR. Again, on all these weapons, none of the magazines are removable. Stock doesn't move. Nothing, you know, nothing exciting. But the cool thing is you do get the red dot. And this, you can actually snap right on top like that. And voila. You now have a HK416 with a red dot. Possibly a ACOG site. I, I, I can never be too, too sure, man. I always go by the Call of Duty stuff, whatever weapons I use. <laughs> but yeah, so you get that, which is nicely done, nicely detailed. And now let's get into the articulation. All right. So for articulation, she can look 
up. All right. About that much. She can look down. About that much. She can tilt her head left and right. She can look left and right. All right, full 360 there. Yep, yep, always do the test. Okay, as far as arms go, arms can go up about that high. All right, can go up forward about that much can go back about that much arm is wow double jointed really nice double joint there Some double do double joint action <laughs> okay uh no bicep swivel However, wait, let me see something. Is there bicep swivel? Okay, no, there might just be, it looks like there's bicep swivel. Or is that, let me see. Okay, no, so no bicep swivel, but there is swivel at the uh, forearms here. So right in the cut, right in the middle, the swivel here. I always call that forearm swivel. Okay, so we get that. Uh, there is swivel at the wrists. All right. We do get some, let me see, up and down, no? Yep, up and down. You can barely see it, but it goes up and down. All right, so you get that. Let's see, as far as legs go, all right, leg can go up that much. That's a really, wow, it goes up more. All right, so leg can go up about that much. That's gonna be really cool, putting her some crazy poses. Get some high kicks. That's really cool. That's very cool. <laughs> yeah, it can go up that much. It is double jointed. Yes, it is. It is double jointed at the knees. All right. There is bicep. Oh, no, you hear me, bicep. There is thigh swivel. All right. Uh, did I show going back? No. Going back, you're looking at about that much. Okay, isn't bad at all. Um, I already stated that she had thigh swivel. Is there any other swivel here? Nope, so far just the thigh swivel, the double jointed at the knees. The foot, let's check out the foot. So for foot, you actually get some movement. All right, you can go left, right, back, front. You can go up, down. All right, you get some ankle pivot, but I'm pretty sure when you move it, you get more. Yep, it's kind of like SH figure wars a little bit. Left, right, full 360, yes. Okay. Uh, app crunch, let me see if there's any app crunch. No, not that much app crunch. About that much. Going back. Oh, wow, I just realized. All right, her boobs, <laughs> that's crazy. Her boobs are like silicone. I know you guys can see this, but I'm literally squeezing 
and the boo pushing forward on it. <laughs> wow, and there's like, it looks like she's kind of cold. I don't know if you guys can see that. Somebody's cold, somebody's nipples, nips are hard. <laughs> Very immature of me. But yeah, uh, it feels like silicone. All right, but the back is hard plastic, which is weird. That's cool though. Oh, and her butt is silicone as well. Okay, so that's crazy. Okay, so from neck down, not including the arms, just from the neck down, it's like all silicone. Which is crazy. Yep. And then everything else is like hard plastic. That's crazy. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm really digging this figure. This is really cool. It's very cool. <laughs> I really love the details. And all this stuff on her, like pouches and everything, um, you can move it more higher. And kind of like position them how you want. Let me just get a better view here. Alright. Yeah, you can actually move them if you want them bunched together or spaced. I guess whatever you want to do. Another same thing here. And up here as well. Yeah, that's cool, man. And you got the pouches in the back. So you can move this all the way over if you want. Or have them both in the back. I don't know, but that's cool. Alright, let me see the head. Oh, alright, so that came off. Oh yeah, the neck is actually silicone as well. That's crazy. The head scope is really nice though. Very nice. All right, and then here is the neck piece. Or the piece that actually covers her face. Which again, uh, I believe is, well, when this is on her, it kind of looks like it's a turtleneck. I don't know how I'm going to get that on her face, covering her face. I may have to use a tweezer, which I am not doing. Let me see if I can get it on camera though. Ooh. Is it on? Yep, it's on. I doubt I'm going to be able to get that. Because it has to like tuck in the hair to get it on right. I guess we'll just leave it like that for now. It doesn't look too bad. It's actually crazy because the first time I got the figure and I tried to do this, it wasn't working for me. Things always work when I'm doing a review. That's so crazy. But that looks pretty cool. So you get a closer view. Not too bad. I mean, I could fix it more, but like I said, I'm not taking no tweezers out to do all of that. <clears throat> but you guys get you guys get the gist of it. Right. Um. As far as the hands go, I do not want to remove the hands as of now because again, you have to use a tweezer and I noticed this to kind of take it off the thumb part remove it and then put in the brand new hand and then put that back on the thumb but yeah alright <clears throat> uh, let me see let me see I'm going to actually put the Glock All right, in the pouch, see how that looks. 
Bear with me, guys. Bear with me. All right, I may have to take this off the camera real quick. All right, did I get it? Did I get it? All right, looks like I got it. Okay, that's what that's looking like. All right. Not bad at all. The other handgun, I guess we can put on the side. Guess it kind of just goes down the side. Alright, that's there. Let me fix this belt. This belt looking a little too crazy right now. Alright, so I got the belt, <coughs> not the belt, the uh, other handgun in the holster. Okay. And uh, we're gonna pose her up in some cool poses. We'll see what she can do actually. Can she do a full split? Wow, she can actually do a full split. So that's gonna be really cool for like uh, some kind of ninja poses. Alright, let me see if she can balance. So, oh, hang on, fell out. Hang and fill out. I'll just leave it aside. Doesn't matter. Uh, and I just want to see if she poses. If she, well, not poses. If she can um stand on her own. Nope. Just looking like a no. Just looking like a no. If there's anybody that can do this, it's probably the amazing. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's crazy. I mentioned the amazing and she automatically stands. Yo, D, shout out to you, D. Your name is Magic. <laughs> All right, so she could stand on her own. All right. Kind of a shitty pose, but she stands. She balances. That was the correct term I was looking for. Balance. She can balance, yes, on one leg. All right, not bad, not bad at all. Yep, and I knew she was gonna fall after that. But yeah, she does balance, so that's cool. And all right, let's carry on, let's carry on. I'm gonna put the AR on her. Ooh, of course she would fall. She would fall. I really love, yo, Mesco should really like invest in like bodies like this for the females. This is some sick articulation for a female body. Like I'm really not used to this. Like unless I'm getting SH figure wars, but this is this is freaking crazy. I really like the knee pads. That's like really detailed. You can move that as well. And again, possibly take it off. 
but yeah, the realism set out is really cool. Very cool. <laughs> I like this came off. I try to try my best to put it back on. Oh, and it's not going back on. No. I right, will just leave it like that for now. see uh whoa you see that all right that's crazy That was just insane. I would say that's kind of a cool pose. I think she's really cool, this figure. Very cool. <laughs> Alright, let me stop that. She's getting annoying. Alright, that is cool. That is a cool pose. Not bad at all, not bad at all. Let me see. Can I put this one in her hand here? All right. I'll actually get her aiming it. That's actually looking pretty dope. I think that's a pretty cool pose. Yeah, hey, I might use that as a thumbnail. <laughs> nah. I take long to do my thumbnails, but it's not a bad figure at all, guys. Um, my opinion, it's a, it's a, it's a one for me. Um, I can see myself uh, possibly, maybe even getting more of her to possibly army build. Maybe. <laughs> but she's cool overall very cool really digging her and again I, I, I really think Mesco should invest in like bodies like this man cause t for a female body to have this much articulation is crazy I'm just not used to seeing this stuff and you know as I said you know SH Figure Arts normally does that but that articulation is crazy. That is super crazy. Alright, we're gonna hold it like that. And we are going to do some size comparisons. Let's bring this up. Let's see if she stays. Because earlier she was a little painted. Alright, not bad. Alright, 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 alright. Alright. I see you, I see you, girl. Alright, so size comparisons. Here is a NECA Leonardo. Okay. Here is a John Wick Mesco. Okay, a little taller than her, which makes sense. Let me actually move the camera. A better view. There you go. <clears throat> yep, so a little taller. We have a PC Toys Neo. 
Again, a little taller. Dope. Bring this light a little more here. And we have a SH Figuarts Black Widow. Which is kind of smaller. <laughs> it is an SH Figuarts. But uh, it doesn't look too bad. I mean, it'll work. It'll definitely work. Ooh, one thing I do want to try is swapping the heads. It may work. It may not work. Let's see. I do want to check that out. Because it could possibly work, guys. It can possibly work. It's not 100%. But it can possibly work. Let's see. Okay, right now it's looking like it's not. Okay, so it... it the peg isn't going in the hole. But, hey, that works. That definitely works right there. And that don't look bad at all. Oh, made it too bright. That is actually, ooh. Ooh, I can actually use this for a Agent Romanoff. Huh, a Nat 112. Yo, that doesn't look bad at all, dude. Oh, nah, bro. This is it. Now, when I take my Avengers pictures, I could definitely use this. Yo, it don't look bad at all. That is sick. I didn't think it was going to work, honestly. Give me one sec, guys. One sec. All right. See, like the, the, let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Obviously, of course, that was going to fall, but see, it's like, you know, but I guess if you pose it the right way and the scarf kind of like gives it some leverage, it actually kind of works and it doesn't look bad. <clears throat> Oh, where did the hang on go? Let me put that back in her hand. And yo, there you go. Now I got a Black Widow 112, baby. Until Mesco comes out with theirs. <laughs> For now, this will do, though. I can work with this. That's pretty badass, man. Yo, I did not think it was going to work. That's cool. That's very cool. <laughs> yeah, not bad at all. But, uh, yeah, guys. Um, oh, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Let me see. Let me see. Let's see how this head looks, though, on this. Oh, that look weird as hell. Long neck. Yeah, that's not going to work. <laughs> <clears throat> but uh yeah guys as I was saying um that's about it for the catch me figure I'm really digging it can't wait to take some photos with this as well as with that uh SH figure arts black widow head <laughs> yep but uh yeah guys uh let me know in the comments down below uh what you guys think about the figure uh, you know, if you guys have any pros of con, pros and cons that you may think of, uh, what do you like about the figure? What you don't like about the figure? Is this a figure you are going to get? Is this a figure you are going to pass on? Will you army build and get a whole bunch of these figures? You never know. Just leave me some feedback, feedback, guys, um, in the comments down below. Uh, if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe, like, comment, you know, you name it. Um, and uh, I appreciate you guys as always. Thank you for watching. Hope you found this informative. 
right? And um, like usual, guys, until next time, peace out.